there is a case for Mullen potentially having a bit of a bounce today. Hi again everyone, hope you're all doing really well. So just for a bit of early context, right now it's about 6 a.m. Um, New York time. It's 8 p.m. my time. The trading day here is actually well and truly finished, but in many senses, it's just about to begin. Anyway, I think there's actually a bit of a case for Mullen Automotive actually having a bit of a bounce today. Uh, now, primarily behind that is the fact that the stock is on the short seller restricted list due to the big sell off the stock experienced in the back half of Friday's trade uh, when it sold off by more than 10%. So therefore it's now back on the short seller restricted list. Now, when you look at the overall short interest in the stock right now, about 17% of the free float is coming up as registered as short, and there's actually less than one day to cover. So that alone is actually putting a bit of pressure on shorts, and it actually makes a bit of a case for, at least in the short term, a bit of a, a rally to push it up. And the fact that shorts can't get in and meaningfully exit on today's trade uh, makes me think that, yes, we could actually see this right up a little bit further. Um, preliminary it's 6 a.m like i just said before uh but uh the stock is pointing at a very slight downward movement at the start but it is very minor i wouldn't read too much into that score um now the other thing that could potentially help push this rally this morning is the fact that um on thursday the stock had a bit of a rebound in response to the letter to shareholders that mullen automotive put out um and you know there was actually a few pauses that were worth like noting from there chiefly the stock has an underlying value or book value much higher than it's currently traded. Um, depending on how you want to measure it, we're looking at almost a 10x on what the current stock price is with about $2.08 per share being the underlying net asset value of the stock according to Mullen Automotive's uh, letter to shareholders. So that alone actually says that it is a good value proposition. Obviously, you have to weigh in the fact that that's based on the 31st of March and doesn't take into account um, the dilution and extra cash that has been raised since, as well as not taking into account uh, the cash burn, which has probably gone on. And that's probably been, that's an interesting one because you don't quite know what rate they are burning cash at the moment um, as they ramp up uh, their facilities to get ready for production, hopefully in the next month or so. So there is um, obviously in terms of uh, underlying catalysts, which are ongoing, and um, the underlying value and the fact that shorts are out of the stock, a bit of a case that we might actually see um, a bit of a movement up in the stock. Now, if we do happen to see a rally today and the stock finish up a little bit, uh, I wouldn't be holding my breath to think that this is going to continue for another day or so. Uh, we might get a bit of early continued um, action on Tuesday in the fact that there might be a bit more um, of the shorts trying to cover and pushing up. So we are actually kind of looking at a bit of an interesting sort of short squeeze uh, scenario uh, coming into Monday. Uh, so that's 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 quite interesting to, to consider. Now, I obviously did some more detailed videos over the weekend about um, issues that other shareholders are having with the company, uh, primarily the fact that obviously there's a potential of another reverse stock split. There's no guarantee it's going to happen. There's no indication as to what extent any such reverse stock split would look like. Uh, but we sort of talked about the fact that it's probably going to have to be less than one for 10 um, for the stock to be able to maintain, you know, NASDAQ listing requirements because it would, if they do any more than one for 10, it means they've uh, done effectively change every 250 stocks into one over the past 12 months which is not um, allowed like in terms of like getting those 180 day extensions on the nasdaq so i feel like that could be the case however you know i'm not a financial advisor so i can't say this for, for certain but there is a possibility that the, the, any sort of reverse stock split could be even more extensive um just to like really drive home uh, where the stock price could be uh, and i'd take another contemporary value in terms of the stock that i follow uh, to mention here, and that being Excel Technologies, they have recently undergone a one for 250 reverse stock split, and about a year earlier, they went for a one for 25 reverse stock split. Now, as a result, the company which saw its stock plummet down below the 10 cent mark twice in that time for a meaningful period of time now sits actually fairly comfortably around the five dollar per share market, it's not really going down much further. Uh, so there is like the potential that Mullen Automotive might do something like that, however. Uh, What's working in Mullen Automotive's favour at the moment, however, is the fact that uh, they're actually about to come into some what should be positive catalysts in the sense of production starting, um, hopefully the MAEO deal being finalised, though we haven't heard anything from Lawrence Hodge. 
Uh, the sources that I've kind of followed sort of suggest that the testing that Lawrence Harger was going to be doing in terms of getting EPA compliance with the Mullen vehicles was meant to commence last week. Lawrence has been back to being a very prolific poster on social media, but he has not said squat about um, any of the testing. So, you know, just it's interesting. He will say a lot when um, you want when when he shouldn't, but when you want him to say something about what's going on, he's saying nothing. So it's you know just kind of further erodes like people's faith in him. Um, you know, fingers crossed, everything works out on that front though. Uh, but. Yeah, I, I think the Mayo deal, actually, if it is legit and it goes ahead, is actually going to be a real sort of game changer for Mullen Automotive. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I, the other topic we spoke about extensively over the weekend was um, the extensive uh, compensation that David Mitchell is up for and the general consensus and surprise, surprise, everyone thinks <laughs> he's overpaid and should not be um, receiving the kind of bonuses he's getting. Uh, anyway, um Look, if he's able to turn the stock around and make it like a $100 per share stock, that's pretty adventurous, I know. But, you know, if he's able to make a meaningful turnaround in the stock based on his operations and, you know, he's going to get a lot of stock in exchange for it, um, you know, I'll be happy. I won't, you know, hold these deals against him. Uh, however, the fact that he never invests a dollar of his own in the company and basically dumps all the stock he has received to date, more or less. Hey, I'm sure he's still got some, but it seems like most of the stock he has received, he has just gotten rid of. That's not a good look for the company. He's not doing a good good deed as a leader by um, building faith in the, you know, the stock. He's just dumping and like, you know, it's hurting stock. I would love for them to put in, in his um, milestone, uh, compensation package something along the lines of uh he has to keep the stock at a certain value he has to have a stock value performance uh it's a very common one for a lot of other companies i i get that they're a pre-revenue company and they obviously have a much more volatile stock but what's happened under his leadership is pretty bad and i'd like to see him um be assessed on those grounds uh but you know i don't have much faith the people who are going to vote for this overwhelmingly are institutions um, you know, the fact that we've had all these reverse stock splits and these further capital raisings, sort of the writings on the wall that, you know, like whatever the board puts in, uh, it's probably going to get the, the go ahead from the majority of people who vote because the majority of people who vote are institutions and they obviously trust what um, Marlon has in place at the moment in terms of leadership because they keep giving them money. Anyway, uh, just a bit of a rant before the market gets open. Hopefully we have a solid day today for Marlon Automotive and it's the start of the big turnaround. Um, you know, I always try to be a little bit optimistic, but you know, there's been a lot of a lot of negativity there. But let's start the week strong, Marlon. All right. Until next time, everyone, may the market trade in your favour. Cheers.